Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And um, thank you, uh, colleagues, for giving me this opportunity. Um, I'm just going to quote something from a blog called The College Fix. <clears throat> this was very interesting when I started to read, which is so relevant to this bill. <clears throat> it begins saying that at a time when President Obama has announced severe gun control proposals, it might come as a surprise to note that Mahatma Gandhi, one of the greatest champions of nonviolence and someone whom the president counts among his personal inspirations, actively campaigned for the right to bear arms during the Indian freedom struggle. Members, during that time, I was not born. But at that time, the Britishers were trying to take away all the uh, weapons, guns, etc. And at some point, Gandhi, even though he was so much for nonviolence, he realized, and at that time, in his autobiography, he again says, among the many misdeeds of British rule in India, and nothing personal against uh, Representative Kagan about that, uh, <laughs> history will look upon the act depriving a whole nation of arms as the blackest. So you can see how strongly he believed and then he further says about right of citizens to bear the arms. And why do I regard the British rule as a curse? It has reduced us politically to serfdom. It has sapped the foundations of our culture. And by the policy of disarmament, it has degraded us spiritually, lacking inward strength. We have been reduced by universal disarmament to a state bordering on cowardly helplessness. Guys, these are very strong words. And he, when he left for the salt march, he had 11 demands. And one of the first one was not to disarm the Indian people. I was, I'm very actually proud. My father walked in that uh, salt march. But all I'm trying to tell you is even the British government, which ruled most of the world at one time, was wrong. And even the champion, who is, we all regard with due respect about nonviolence, he also felt that bearing the arms is one of the best way to fight the tyranny. And here we are talking about the tyranny of the criminals on a college campus. So I urge you vote no. Thank you.